Today, I connected with a native Angelino who is currently in Israel. He went to visit his daughter to celebrate a family occasion. Instead, ended up getting stuck in the middle of war. All of a sudden, I'm like halfway in the way here. The siren goes off. I've got 90 seconds to get to shelter. I just drew as fast as I could because I didn't know where all to go where I was. I mean, I was in the middle of a neighborhood, zoomed into her place, and they were already locked up in the bomb shelter, and I joined them. So that's what life's been like. Harry Fisher describing a day in the life in Israel right now. He says at any given moment, he receives a text message just like this one, urging residents to take cover in a bomb shelter. It's happened several times as the roar of rockets booms in the near distance. He's about 35 miles from Gaza. You're just constantly in the back of your mind thinking about the what ifs. And I, I definitely, by last night, I realized this is taking its toll on my emotion and on my mental health to see this amount of hatred toward my group it it i can't begin to tell you how much it hurts now fisher says he and his wife are booked for a flight back to america monday i asked him alex why not sooner he told me it's because it was the first available flight wow. that he could get